The Confession of Ajamet of Geneva, Châtel, October 20th, 1348 CE. That's Common Era, or AD, in other terms. On Friday, the 10th of the month of October, at Châtel, there occurred the judicial inquiry, which was made by the order of the court of the illustrious prince, our lord Amadeus, Count of Savoy, and his subjects, against the Jews of both sexes who were there imprisoned, each one separately. Jews were sometimes imprisoned separately to prevent suicide. This was done after public rumor had become current and strong protests had arisen because of the poison put by them into the wells, springs, and other things which the Christians use, demanding that the Jews die, that they be found guilty, and, therefore, that they should be punished. Hence, this confession was made in the presence of a great many trustworthy persons. Ajamet the Jew, who lived at Geneva and was arrested at Châtel, was there put to the torture, a little, and then he was released from it. After a long time, having been subject again to torture, a little, he confessed in the presence of a great many trustworthy persons who are later mentioned. To begin with, it is clear that at the Lent just passed, Pultus Cleus de Rance had sent this very Jew to Venice to buy silks and other things for him. When this came to the notice of Rabbi Peret, a Jew of Chambray, who was a teacher of their law, he sent for this Ajumet, for whom he had searched, and when he had come before him, he said, We have been informed that you are going to Venice to buy silk and other wares. Here I am giving you a little package of half a hand span in size which contains some prepared poison and venom in a thin sewed leather bag. Distributed amongst the wells, cisterns, and springs about Venice and the other places to which you go in order to poison the people who use the water of the aforesaid wells that will have been poisoned by you, namely the wells in which the poison will have been placed. Ajumet took this package full of poison and carried it with him to Venice, and when he came there he threw and scattered a portion of it into the well or cistern of fresh water which was there near the German house in order to poison the people who use the water of that cistern, and he says that this is the only cistern of sweet water in the city. He also says that the mentioned Rabbi Peret promised to give him whatever he wanted for his troubles in this business. Of his own accord, Ajumet confessed further that after this had been done, he left at once in order that he should not be captured by the citizens or others, and that he went personally to Calabria and Apulia and threw the above-mentioned poison into many wells. He confesses also that he put some of this same poison in the well of the streets of the city of Ballet. He confesses further that he put some of this poison into the public fountain of the city of Toulouse and in the wells that are near the sea. Asked if at this time he scattered the venom and poisoned the wells, above mentioned, any people had died, he said that he did not know inasmuch as he had left every one of these places in a hurry. Asked if any other Jews of these places were guilty in the matter, he answered that he did not know. And now, by all that which is contained in the five books of Moses and the scrolls of the Jews, he declared that this was true, and that he was in no way lying, no matter what might happen to him.